Hello, my beautiful babes, and welcome to the Bad Bitch Academy. It's your girl, Amber the Baddie, and I am here with our baddie challenge number two. Now, if you are new here and you're like, what the fuck is a baddie challenge? Every single week on Sunday, I am dropping a new challenge for us all to do. You've got seven days to complete this challenge, and the challenge for this week is to clear the clutter and make space for change. Now, the reason why I wanted to have this as a second baddie challenge is because when we are looking to create something new in our life, we're looking to up level, to reinvent ourselves. a lot of the time we still have a lot of the old in our environment. Maybe you're trying to lose weight, but you got a bunch of junk food. Maybe you want to make more money and be more abundant, but your wallet's, you know, just completely messy. You aren't sure about your finances. So really right now, the challenge is to clear some space and really just set yourself up for success. So I know it can be a lot to ask to like clean your entire fucking house. Well, I'm not going to do that, but I want you to choose three spaces, okay? Three spaces that you want to clear the clutter so that you can make space for what your goals are and for what you're trying to accomplish. So some things you can do is maybe clean out your car. If you spend a lot of your time in your car or driving, you wanna make sure that it's good energy so you can clean out your car, make it fresh, make it nice, clean out your bedroom. Now my recommendation of what you should clear during this challenge is number one, clear out your social media. If there are people you follow that make you compare yourself, make you feel bad about yourself or your body, people that just don't give you the best energy, unfollow, mute, do whatever you gotta do, but it is time to clean out your social media, okay? We spend so much time on social media and it can be a beautiful place to connect with people, to interact, to get inspired, but it does not have to be something that tears you down or makes you feel bad about yourself. So clear out your social media. Number two, I want you to clear out your purse or your wallet, okay? If we're trying to attract abundance, which I'm sure a lot of us are, we want to attract more money and more opportunities into our life, having old receipts and gift cards that are empty and just trash and just chaos in your purse and in your wallet is not going to make space for the abundance to come. So clean out your wallet, clean out your purse, only have the essential few things that you really need. If you've got a chapstick that's like almost empty, take it out. It's time for something new. But cleaning out your purse is really going to make you feel really good. Now, what I also recommend that you do is clean out one area in your house that maybe you spend a lot of time in. If you live with your family, that could be your bedroom. Maybe that's a living room or an office, or if you have some sort of like ritual space or, you know, your sacred corner, but just pick one space in your house that you want to just tidy up. And it's not really just about tidying up, but maybe you want to give yourself a full on makeover. Maybe you were like in a relationship and your ex-boyfriend used to come to your house all the time and everything in your house is the same. And maybe you're trying to get over this relationship and move on. But if all the things in your physical environment are reminding you of the past, it's time to switch things up. Can you give your room a makeover? Can you put your bed on the other side of the room? Maybe put a different poster up, get some lights. But really, this is all about setting up your fucking space. Because like I said, this month is about reinventing yourself. So I really want you to feel like a new person when you are in your space. If you've got a car, clean out your fucking car, go to, you know, go get it vacuumed, clean the windows, get like literally just make it nice, get a super nice air freshener. Because like I said, when it comes to reinventing yourself, like we need to be reminded in our subconscious that like, whoa, things are new. Like, hold up. Things are not the same as they have always been. Things are fucking changing. And if you want things to change in your life, you've got to make that change. And it can start with something small. Now, I'm not saying to clean out your closet yet because we are going to have another baddie challenge all around your fashion. So I'm say so you can save that 
for our next challenge. But for this one specifically, let's clean out the space. Now, as you are cleaning out your spaces, as you are making space for something new, think about how can you add an element that really help to align you with your goals. So we did our vision board challenge last week. I had some awesome journal questions for you to answer that are going to help you get clear on what it is that you want to create over the next three months. And now that you have that vision, how can you make space for that in your home? If you want to work out more, maybe you need to clean out your kitchen, clean out the cupboards, throw out all the junk food and start fresh right? Maybe you need to clear out a space in your house where you can put a yoga mat and get some weights and make it just a really nice workout area for yourself so that you are ready and motivated for that. If you're starting a business or you're growing your social media and you want to get on TikTok, maybe you need to like redo your room so you can make it a vibe and that you feel super confident making content in your space, right? So you can really customize this to your specific goals, but I promise you, you are going to feel a lot of fresh new energy when you do this. Now, I would also like when it comes to clearing our spaces, right, there's a lot of things that we should honestly maybe get rid of. Maybe you've got a sweater from your ex-boyfriend or, you know, something in your house that just reminds you of, a, of the past in not a good way, like something that you want to move forward from or let go of. So it's okay to just literally let go of things, get rid of things. When things are clear of, cl of clutter, when things are like a little bit more minimalistic and not so much in like having nothing in your house, but when you can get rid of just the things that are distracting, you're gonna notice that your focus is better, you've got a clearer mind, and that you, it's just gonna be easier for you to make those amazing positive changes. So this is our baddie challenge. I recommend for you to clear out three spaces, okay? You get to choose, but my recommendations are your social media, your bedroom and your wallet and your purse okay that's the three that i'm personally doing for myself this week and of course don't forget that one of you can win a free coaching session with me all you've got to do is record a video um, or take a picture post it on your social media and tag me and i will be doing a running every week where one person gets a free coaching session with me so i love you so much let me know in the comments what are the three spaces that you are going to clear out for this baddie challenge i can't wait to hear i love you all so much please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i will see you in the next video